Hey guys, Martin here and welcome to the After Effects Cookbook Lesson 1 Making a Composition um, This is a series I'm making and it's gonna start out with um, making a composition and it's going to end somewhere crazy so um, stay tuned, follow the lessons and within no time you're an expert in After Effects so let's jump right in by just getting rid of this composition right here <coughs> And this is your opening screen. Uh, as soon as you open After Effects, you you see you can't you can't really type anything or do anything. That's because you're gonna make a composition. And to do that, we click Composition, New Composition, and we get a little screen here. Um, in the screen, you got a lot of basic options. The advanced options um, will handle in a later tutorial because you can. Well, even I mostly ignore them still so um, you you probably start off with a stock uh, setting like the NTSC DV setting which is crap <clears throat> sorry for saying but what we're gonna do is to help you guys understand how uh, what the composition settings do we're gonna make our own custom settings so we can upload to YouTube or whatever video site you you like to stream on. Um, I personally prefer Vimeo, but to each their own. Okay, um, there are two settings um, which most people use for video streaming sites, which is uh, 1 to 80 in the width and 720 as height. Um, this is known as HD, normal high definition footage. Um, you want to make sure that it's uh, HD because you get better quality from, from YouTube, Vimeo, other sites if it's in HD. It, it converts it to a higher uh, quality code, code, codec, excuse me, and that gives you uh, higher quality. But you can also go one step further and set it to 1920 by 1080 in the height and this is also the same aspect ratio if you've been paying attention it says 16 by 9 so let's check this and put this to 1 to 80 it's 16 by 9 uh, which is the resolution you want uh, unless you want black bars at the bottom and the top but we'll cover that later um, on to the pixel aspect ratio. The pixel aspect ratio is a pretty important uh, little thing. Um, what this basically does is um, stretch the pixels to a certain size. So if you got even if you got the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it might turn out into another aspect ratio. Because as you can see here, the aspect ratio of this is 16 by 9 and Within the, I'm Dutch, I've got the word, but here it says 1.78, which is the pixel, uh, is the aspect ratio you are looking for. This is how your frame looks. Um, but here it says it's a 1.62, which doesn't really correspond to this one right here. <clears throat> so what you have to do. In the pixel aspect ratio, and this is a true recommendation because uh, this is better for when you're sharing work, when you're uh, collaborating with another editor um, or whatever. This is um, a must-have, in my book at least, square pixels. I know there are video cameras who shoots, uh, shoot in 1.33333 or 1.5, or, but square pixels is, for me, the way to go. Frame rates. How, uh, what frame, frame rates should you use? Some people say one frame rate is better than the other, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna pop through that little myth right now. Frame rate is only better than another frame rate if it matches up with your footage. So if you got uh, a footage running at 24 frames a second, you gotta make the uh, composition settings at 24 frames a second. If you got uh, a slow motion camera and you got it at a uh, thousand frames a second, now you gotta put this to a thousand frames a second. But it can't do that. <laughs> uh, 
so you gotta slow it down to normal speed on forehand. But we're not going to go into high uh, slow motion footage for a long time, so let's just leave that out. Um, I know my footage is 24 frames a second, and I'll let you know in a minute how you can find it out. But I'm going to type in 24, and the duration is going to be, let's say, 30 seconds, so we got a little bit of room to work with. And now we're going to save the preset as cookbook oops, lesson 1. And there we go, we got a preset composition setting. So if we click OK, we got our composition. And you see, um, as not in the begin screen, you got a lot of options you can use now. You can uh, use the text tool, use the pen tool, all the tools we're going to go in in, fu in future tutorials. I should really close my window when I'm making these, but it's hard. Um, yeah, that's how to make a composition. If you got any more questions or if I forgot to explain anything, um, let me know in the comments, send me a message, I'll reply to any of them um, as long as I don't have too much stuff to do. But 99% of the time I will reply to your messages. If you got any suggestions, ideas of tutorials, um, Put them in the comments, but remember I'm going from the most basic stuff, from making a composition to something really advanced, which I gotta figure out myself for another time. So, I will look at your suggestions, but it might not be the next tutorial, it might be in a couple of weeks, it might be in a few months from now. But I will make it if I like the idea. So, um, I don't know what else to say, so I'm gonna say goodbye. And I'll see you guys at lesson 2. By the way, um, for these short tutorials like these, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of days. So stay tuned. And I'll see you guys next time.